I am Bill from CJ Pony Parts. So far I've done some nice upgrades to Lucy, our 65 Mustang project car, did some interior and engine upgrades, and today we're going to focus on the body. Now the paint job on this car, it's not great, but it's actually not bad, so it's very presentable. We're not looking to repaint the car, but we want to freshen the exterior. So today we're going to install this Scott Drake emblem kit. Scott Drake offers these complete emblem kits for a variety of early Mustangs, and this one here is going to fit your 65 through 66 Cooper convertible with a V8. It includes die cast emblems, new 289 emblems, the new running horses for the side, the Mustang logos for the fenders, as well as the Ford letters for the hood. Also included are the necessary tube nuts for installation. We're going to start with the 289 fender badge. Now, there really is no special trick to getting these things off. Basically, all you do is just pry them out of the original tube nuts. But what you want to do is kind of look at where they're going to mount, give you an idea of where you actually want to pry. Now, to be safe, we're going to put some tape on the body to make sure we don't damage the paint. I found a plastic pry bar is best for this. It's kind of get underneath the sort of twist. You see it'll start giving way a little bit. Remove the original emblem. Now, Scott Drake uses high quality dyes when they make their emblems, so a lot of times you can actually reuse the original tube nuts. They will fit perfectly. If the tube nuts are damaged or broken, you'll want to remove them previously. Now, there is no trick to getting the tube nuts out. It's actually not an easy process. What you kind of want to do is use a small pick and sort of work the corners and try to remove them. Now, a lot of times, in the case of our car, actually the tube nuts you can see were painted over, which can make it even worse. So you want to be careful with this because if there's body filler or paint, you can actually chip it very easily. Sometimes just get it started like that. Need some pliers to get them off. Grab the replacement tube nuts. Basically, push them in the holes. Make sure they are flush. We'll grab our new emblem, as you can see, obviously much nicer than the old one. What you want to do here is just get it in the holes and just push it on evenly. That's all there is to it. Same thing with the emblems over here. This one is the easiest probably to break. This one's a little tricky. We're gonna clean off the years of wax residue here with a little bit of clean solvent. In case of this, the tube nuts are actually still fine. I'm going to reuse them, but our tail is actually missing one, so we're going to install one new one in the tail section here. Now, I should mention here, the emblems are side specific. You want to make sure the horse is obviously facing forward and you don't put it on. But yeah, you can see the huge difference between our original, which at one time was red, white, and blue, and our new Scott Drake emblem here. Let's simply line up the holes and press it on. Amazing the difference just a couple emblems make. We're going to the hood letters now. Again, same process.
clean up all the old residue quick. This letter's got one bad tube nut on it, so we're going to replace this one here. This might sound obvious, make sure the letters are in the right order. And repeat the process with the passenger side fender emblems and your installation is finished. I mean, a simple emblem change really made a huge difference on our convertible. I mean, the colors now pop, the emblems look a lot better. It even makes the paint look better on this car. As far as the installation goes, you'll need a plastic pry bar, some tape, and a small pick if you want to remove some of the original tube nuts. But overall, it's pretty easy to do. If we can do the whole set, about an hour to an hour and a half, we'll be back on the road in no time.